Hello, so what are two good REITs to buy uh, that be really laser focus on really stable markets? I'm gonna go ahead and show you what these two are. Stay tuned. All right, like I said before, these are REITs that basically are very, I'm not gonna consider them safe because no stock investing is safe and always, you know, obviously consult your professional before you invest. But they're, they're REITs that are actually gonna really focus on markets that are very stable, meaning that I use these kind of as a buffer. So I'll, I'll invest in a whole bunch of other investments. These, these REITs are, you know, REITs are notoriously kind of risky, but these actually focus in industries that are very, very, very stable. Um, now keep in mind that I have a whole video on what a REIT is if you don't know what it is, but in a nutshell, it's basically, you're basically investing in property um, without buying property, so you're investing in companies that invest in property more or less, and then you, you obviously make money if they make money. Um, if they get their, their rent paid, you get some money back. So, and they usually have pretty good dividends in the stocks too. And that's where you usually get your money. I mean, usually they're pretty stable or they go up slightly, but you get that yearly dividend. Some of them are paid monthly as well. But anyways, these stocks are, you know, these REITs are gonna be basically um, very stable um, because of the fact that they actually target very stable markets. So, I mean, obviously with a grain of salt again, uh I mean, these things can, you know, if the market tanks, they're gonna tank a little bit, but they should come back because you know that these markets are very stable that, that they're catering to and they're not gonna go out of business. So anyways, stay tuned, now. let's get into these REITs and then let me know what you think at the end of the video. All right, so the first one is Easterly Government REIT and that's D-E-A is the stock symbol. Now the reason for this one is, is, is the name would actually say they actually lease space out to government agencies. This could be the FBI, you know, it could be the IRS, things like that. And they have a bunch of space I'll get into here in a second, but that is the reason why it's stable. And uh, let's get into this one and show you what this one's all about. All right, so these stocks should actually be good in a recession, and the reason is is because they really focus on um, you know very stable markets, things that shouldn't fluctuate that much even during a recession. That's what you're looking for. So the first one here is Easterly Government Properties, like I just said. It's a DEA, which is kind of funny because that sounds really familiar. Um, but obviously, this is a government property REIT, so it is a REIT. Um, if you go ahead and take a look at this here, it's at 21.23 is the stock price, and basically this is the last six months. Obviously, it went from about 18 or so up to about 21, so we had some good growth over six months. But you don't really look at these for growth like that. I mean, let's if you look at the five-year, you know, it's kind of up and down, and then the max, um, you know, back into let's see this, it's 2015, 2000, you know, beginning of 2015. And then it's obviously around 16, and now it's up about 20, 21. So, so you definitely got some moderate growth over that time. The real thing you're looking for though is down here on the dividend. Um, dividend is 4, 4.9 or close to 5%. So it's really a kind of a nice dividend to get, and you do get that all the time. So that's gonna be one thing that, um, you know, why you invest in these type of REITs. They basically kind of fluctuate. If you have problems with the stock market, these should stay fairly stable, and you'll continue to get that, you know, five sometimes even higher percentage every year so it's a good stock to look at and just really quickly here's their website um, striving to be the partner of choice for the US government so why is this basically very stable um, it says right here we focus primary on the acquisition development and management of uh, class A commercial properties that are leased to the US government agencies that uh, serve essential US government functions you know they have properties all throughout the United States uh, so they have a really good mix it's not going to be one region like the East Coast versus the West Coast obviously government organizations are everywhere it says right here we focus on acquiring developing and managing GSA lease properties that are essential to supporting the mission of the tenant um, and, and that's the choice for the US government so all these buildings are going to be US government based there is the reason why it's stable so if the rest of the market tanks a little bit or if there's some you know bad things in retail and other types of retail out there um, governments should always be there hopefully <laughs> otherwise we'll have a lot bigger problems so that's one of the reasons I recommend this during a recession all right so the second one that I consider stable is going to be physicians realty and that's basically going to be stock symbol DOC or DOC obviously that makes sense and again baby boomers um, even if the market tanks people still need hospitals they still need you know obviously any type of medical building and things like that so again stable in an environment that may not be so stable um, these should still produce income for these people because you always you're not going to get rid of a hospital in more or less if the economy is bad so anyways let's get into this one again it's DOC is the stock symbol and uh, let me know what you think all right, so here's the second one again. It's Physicians Realty Trust. It's again another REIT, and it's basically going to be the symbol is uh, DOC from the New York Stock Exchange, DOC, DOC. It's 17.77 is the actual price of the stock. 
And again, this is kind of the same thing where we look at it one year out to date. I mean, it went from about, what, 15 and a half um, over to it's about, you know, 17 and a half now, 1777, I'm sorry. So it did go up over time, and this is about, um, you know, this is just one year, I'm sorry. If we go to the max, let's look at the max, actually. Um, it actually did a little bit more. It went up from about 11 over to about 17. So we got a lot of growth over from 2014 to 2019. Um, but again, it's not, you know, it's not something that's going to be life changing in a lot of times like that, but it is substantial in that amount of time. But the real reason you buy something like this is it has ups and downs, but it's going to be again, the dividend down here, which is 5.18 annually. So if you, when you combine that with the actual, uh, you know, obviously chart here for over the last five years, it's a pretty good return on it. And why do you buy this during a recession? Um, it's going to be basically because let me actually go in and I'll show you from their, their primary website here. Um, so again, the reason I think it's a good idea during a recession or during a slowdown is because they basically uh, basically invest in uh, medical buildings like a hospital like this, like Northside Medical. Um, so when you look at this, this is their website, Physicians Realty Trust, and it's a REIT. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you a couple different things here. So when we go to the About page here, um, it basically tells you really what their mission is right down here. It says, Physicians Realty Trust DOC is on a mission to help medical providers, developers, and shareholders to realize better health care, better communities, and better returns. Returns. We do this by offering broader and cheaper healthcare um, expertise than any other REIT, um, and they craft solutions to all parties. So really, what they do is we invest in the healthcare, not just real estate. We know our we know, um, our team knows healthcare, uh, and so basically they they kind of know how the executive management of healthcare works, and they basically create or lease buildings out to these people that are basically structured for these type of medical environments. So it's not only that they're just leasing out medical or it's just dumb property. I guess they they kind of know the medical field in general, and that's their primary focus. And uh, so with that kind of uh, knowledge and with people like doctors and things on their staff, they basically know what to create that gets doctors what they need. And uh, they, you know, it's a really good good way to look at it um, instead of just creating a, you know, more or less real estate, they actually get some of the experts behind it. Portfolio, again, if you look at it really quickly, is gonna be um, a lot of properties all over the United States, sorry about that. And then we basically can see that they're spread out a lot on the East Coast, Midwest, and some, not so much on the, on the West Coast. Um, but anyways, portfolio is you know, pretty big and they have things like Northside Medical, uh, Midtown is a big building that they own, Hazel with Medical Commons, Northside Center Point, and things like that. So um, keep in mind that these are just um, gonna be all different types of medical buildings and that's really what they do. Um, so again, why would you invest in this during a downturn? Because doctors and, and you know, even with baby boomers getting older, you're gonna need more medical facilities and also even the, you know during a recession, it doesn't affect a lot of times people getting sick and things, so they should be around for sure. All right, so I hope this helps. Again, I'm not telling you to invest in anything here. I'm just kind of telling you what, what you know, what's out there. Um, when you learn about stocks and things, you can kind of learn what's behind them. You don't just have, you know, obviously you're not just saying, oh, look at that, I like the way that that, that symbol looks. You're actually doing some research. You're seeing what they invest in, what are they not investing in, you know, why would it would be a good investment to kind of hedge some other things that you're investing in. So definitely use your mind here and think about it. But these are just two that I wanted to give, you know, give to you because, especially the government one, because that's obviously, you know, the government obviously, I guess they may not, <laughs> governments maybe sometimes don't pay, but... But a long story short, they need we need the IRS, we need different agencies and things like that. So obviously they'll be around for a long time. Um, anyways, I hope that helps. So definitely, if you guys can watch my videos uh, and subscribe to them, that would really help me out. I'm gonna do a giveaway, you know, right around a thousand subscribers for a couple hard drives. And, and if you're in it, then you can maybe win it. I'll definitely get you uh, more rules coming up in a second. Um, but long story short, or a couple of videos, I'll have the rules. Um, but you'll, you'll be definitely be entered if you're a subscriber. So definitely subscribe. I do videos on technology also, a lot of tech and sometimes travel. But um, wrap it all together. Tech's sometimes fun. So just, you know, if you can subscribe and help me out, it's going to really help me uh, make more videos and more good videos. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.